Thank you for joining us for part two of our Tableau conference schedule video series. If you haven't watched the first video, top six tips for building your Tableau conference schedule, we highly recommend watching that short video first to familiarize yourself with the process. Then coming back to dive deeper with this video. If you've seen the first video, then you're in the right place. Welcome. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you the best ways to navigate the mobile app and how to use it to build a schedule that will help you accomplish your TC goals. To download the mobile app, search your app store for Tableau Conference. You can also visit tc19.tableau.com app to read the written form of what we discussed today and view answers to frequently asked questions. After you download the app, sign in using the credentials you created during registration. Are you terrible at remembering passwords like I am? No problem. You can quickly recover your password at id.tableau.com. If you have any issues with login, simply email us at tcapphelp at tableau.com. On your first login, you'll see a series of welcome screens, including the option to opt in for push notifications. I highly recommend opting in for these because we often send you messages about giveaways, important schedule updates, day to night out news, and more. Let's take a look at the app. All menu items are on the left, so this is the main nav. To return to this view, tap the three lines on the top left. The Discover pane shows can't miss moments that we've highlighted for you. These will change daily, so check back to Discover the top activities and sessions per day. The schedule is all of the scheduled items that have a time slot like hands-on training, breakout sessions, keynotes, and meetups. New this year, you can reserve your spot in all scheduled sessions. We'll talk more about that in the schedule building demo. Activities are other elements that are open daily and you can stop by at any time that works for you. Event info is essentially an information desk in the palm of your hand. Here you'll find details about accessibility, meals, transportation, registration, mother's rooms and prayer rooms, and more. Maps offer detailed floor plans of each level within the TC venue. Locations are pinned on the map and linkable from scheduled activities. Important locations like restrooms, meals, and registration will also be visible. This will be especially helpful in Data Village to find your way around that mini city. Tableau Doctor and Brain Date Scheduling is also integrated with the TC schedule, so you can book appointments directly and avoid double booking yourself. I mentioned earlier that this year you can reserve your seat in all sessions. At launch, we open the initial wave of seats, then we continue to open more seats as we get closer to the event. You won't see rooms assigned to sessions until November 10th, so make sure to check the app before you get on site. Standby lines will still be available, so if there's a session you couldn't reserve, there's still a chance. If you successfully reserved a seat, make sure you arrive at least five minutes before the session starts. If you don't, your seat will be given to one of the patient folks in front of the standby line. Now that you're pretty well acquainted with the app, let's explore how to build a schedule. I'll use myself as an example to show you what to look for and how to navigate. Let's get started. First, I need to outline what my goals are and identify my focus. I'm a marketer on the events team that does a lot of analysis, so I'd consider myself a business user and an analyst with an intermediate skill level. My goals are to build my data and analytics skills as I focus on my own career growth, to learn to apply Tableau and data preparation into my regular workflow and find new ways to get motivated. I also have a specific data source challenge that I'd love to find help with and ultimately solve. I'm attending alone, so I want to try to meet as many people as I can, whether they're other marketers or they just share some of my interests. Great, now that I understand my goals, I can start to build my schedule. Let's dive in. I recommend starting with the keyword search. This searches the title, venue, and description of anything in the app. So I can use this to find all items related to specific keywords or speakers. I have trouble with LOD calculations, so I want to start there. Since I'm a sucker for puns, I have to go to loads of fun with level of detail calculations. Since it looks available, I'll tap the star to reserve it. I'll confirm it by tapping register once I read the reminder about that five minute rule. Now the star is filled in and the status is updated to on schedule. Great, let's look for a couple more. I know I wanna focus on data prep, so I'll add a few of those too.
Let's go back to the My Schedule view to see how it's shaping up. I see the sessions I booked and also some that I didn't. Something to note is we automatically add welcome reception, keynotes, and day to night out to your schedule. We'll never schedule sessions over these items. It looks like Wednesday is pretty solid so far, but the other days I'm more open. This is where filters come in handy. When using filters, I have to start with picking a day, so I'll start with day one, Tuesday. Oh, I see a newbie session, so I need that. Oh right, filters. These are a great way for me to narrow down the list to my goals and specific interests. I can look at themes like data and analytics skills because that's what I need to specifically focus on. I'm also interested in the Tableau community, so I'll come back to that. Let's go to Wednesday again. I'd love to learn more about mapping, and I see a beginner's guide to maps is almost full. Let's see if I can get in. Oh no, it looks like I have a conflict. Okay, on Wednesday at 2.15 p.m., I have a data prep overlap. So since I have another data prep session on my schedule, I'll cancel that and add the mapping session. Success! After I use the filter, it's important to remember to clear it before filtering again. I can see that it's still on, so I'll clear it, then look into other filters that would be relevant to me. I'll choose the marketing filter this time. Let's even get crazy and mix and match a couple filters. Topic has a lot of options, so I'll check out Tableau Blueprint because I've heard a little bit about that methodology. Let's see what's happening on Thursday. Creating a Tableau community looks awesome. All set. Level and type are also other filters I wanna pay attention to. It's important that I go to sessions at my level or just pushing it so I can keep learning without the content feeling repetitive for me, but I also won't get lost in advanced topics. I know I wanna build my skills, so hands-on training sessions sound perfect. I think Friday was pretty open, so I'll filter, then start there. I'm feeling pretty good about my schedule, so I'll go back to check. Looks pretty good. I wanted to have three to five sessions per day, but since there's a variety of types and session links, I can keep adjusting. And there you have it. My example schedule is complete. There is a lot to look forward to with a well-rounded schedule and an open mind. Thank you for joining me today to review how to use the TC mobile app. Schedule building is also available in a web version, so check out tc19.tableau.com schedule to log in and build or adjust your schedule on a bigger screen. Remember to check the FAQ to understand more of the details of the schedule functionality. We'll have a schedule support team on site and an attendee services desk if you need additional support. You can find more information about both of these services in, you guessed it, the mobile app.